Welcome to the What's New in Autodesk Convincer 2013, Point Clouds. My name is Craig Basher and I'm an application engineer with Advanced Solutions. Inventor 2013 now has the ability to take in and use point cloud data from laser scans. Let's go over to the software and see how these options are used. So what I've done is I've already started an assembly template. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my Manage tab here. You'll notice that there's a new section called Point Clouds. The first thing I want to do is I want to index this cloud. And what that allows me to do is use different file types from the standards that are out there in the market. So I'm going to go into my Point Cloud data and I'm going to pick on my Point Cloud and it's an ASC file. So I'm going to go ahead and index that in. Now sometimes I can have error messages come up or there may be some issues and I could pause this uh, and stop it and continue playing it or if I want to add another index I could go ahead and do that. So what Inventor is going to do, it's going to create a new file for me to use. And so when I go to attach it, it's using a, a cloud file that's good for Inventor and AutoCAD as well. Uh, so I'll go ahead and put it on here. Now once I have it on the screen, I can make adjustments to that. I can make adjustments to uh, where it's located on the X, Y, and Z. I could go ahead and rotate those about those same axes. I could scale this up or down. Now I have this in the actual model space. We can see that the file itself is um, pretty dense. So we can go back and actually edit that point cloud data so that we have less points. You'll notice that I have this option right here in my browser now. So here I can go back and edit this and change the density, let's say. So you can come back and say, I want to do more like 40% density. So now I, I have less density. I might even go back and even make it more or less dense there. So now that you have your file in here, what can you do? Well, typically when you see a, a scanned object, you really don't need all that geometry. You only need a certain section of it. So what you can do is you can crop that data. So I'm going to come to a, an area that I want to keep, and I'm going to use my crop area section here. So I'll just create my little bounding box here. And wherever I cross over, it's going to keep that information. And then once I have the box created, I can adjust that box. I can pick on those arrows and make the box larger if I need to. And once I have the box created, I, I can use the check mark to get that created. If I want to undo that, I would just go back and say uncrop it. Okay? And you could do multiple crops if you needed to. So you could do like a side view first, and then you could crop a certain section, and then do a, a front section and crop that view as well. So I'm going to do this side view here, see how much it's going to crop, and I don't need all that information, then I could go to my top view and crop it again. So I'm going to say crop box again, and crop this information here, and say OK to that. Now that I have my little cropping section in here, and it's an all or nothing if I wanted to go back. If I want to uncrop it, it's all or nothing. So if I hit undo, it's going to bring everything back. Or well, not undo, but uncrop. Once this crop data is in here, um, you can do things like measure. So I can actually measure from point to point. You'll notice that you can pick on a point. Now you'll see that my key or my, my cursor is farther away. And that's just because I'm in uh, the uh, perspective mode. Let me change it to more of a uh, orthographic mode. And you can see that you could do some better measurement at that point. So you can actually pick point to point and create measurements on that. Now you can start building your designs around that object. You know that that's really the whole point of point cloud data is to bring it in and actually design around that. Another option here is actually to use uh, a cloud point so that you can actually take and put a work point on a particular cloud point if you wish. So thanks for watching the video. Please visit our website for more information about Inventor and other promotions that are happening. Uh, here's some information about me. Uh, 
If you have a question about today's video, just shoot me an email, or contact me through uh, LinkedIn or YouTube, and I'll be happy to try to help you with your question. Thanks.